we will discuss uh, about uh, current scenarios of uh, sustainable design in Indian context. So we will see in this lecture about uh, some case studies and some efforts like how uh, these uh, sustainable like uh, practices can be bring can be brought into the like uh, everyday like a uh, design of the like uh, houses. So here if you see like how this has progressed we are starting from here to understand like how the objectives of sustainability has started actually evolving okay over the like a uh, uh, like a few like a last uh, in the few decades so if you see in the 1950s okay uh, it was uh, miserly like a uh, uh, there was no such like a particular discussion okay or uh, you know any uh, mention particularly about a uh, sustainability or the environmental concerns and things things were going uh, like uh, as it is and it was kind of uh, like an accepted thing okay uh, how the things are uh, kind of uh, like an uh, okay but uh, it started coming into like a play in the like a design and uh, construction about the uh, like a climatology in the like a decade of like a 1960s okay and after that uh, it started with the like a solar passive architecture in the like a modern constructions and the modern designs and then came uh, the bioclimatic design actually inputs okay so they became actually the talk of the discussion in the almost like in the decade of like 1970s okay when uh, these uh, bioclimatic actually factors in the design were actually uh, started actually taking place then came a uh, low energy architecture like how uh, the energy uh, requirements can be minimized and then actually started uh, this the, the trend of like a environmental sustainable architecture which spoke of about uh, improving on the environmental factors of the like a sustainability which we know as like a uh, in the recent times and then lately in the like uh, in the decade of like a 1990s then it started uh, 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 the discussion started happening about uh, like architecture for the like a sustainable development so the how the sustainable uh, development goals how the sustainable actually uh, practices can be integrated into the like architecture and design so that uh, was actually period uh, uh, from there actually it started happening in india so this is actually a reference i have taken from uh, uh, ashok bilal architects he is a famous architect based out of like a new delhi and he is a great thinker also he has uh, actually designed several uh, interesting buildings which actually cater to this actually goal so let's see some of these uh, like uh, some examples which i have taken to discuss about uh, uh, in this lecture so here if you see like uh, the a feature of a strategy of like a planning like a urban like a terraces like a roof gardens okay so greening the actually top surface of the building well what could be the objective to make it green what's the purpose so the purpose is uh, in uh, in the respect of the, the he urban heat island effect so the uhie is a, is a phenomena where uh, uh, in a, like a concentrated places such as like a, a cities and uh, bigger towns okay they have actually lakhs and lakhs of like a houses constructed and as a whole actually these buildings okay they are actually made up of uh, uh, several like a heat absorbing materials such as like a bricks stone you know metals you know tiles and several other stuff so these actually materials they actually absorb a lot of heat so how this heat can be actually reduced because this heat actually creates a heat trap and the entire actually uh, surrounding of that city gets actually heated over the time so this actually amount of this heat actually creates a uh, uh, several types of problem like it, it it starts absorbing that heat it starts actually retaining some gases and uh, uh, it starts retaining actually the particulate matter and it still it gets accumulated over the time and it creates like a health related problems it, it, it actually traps a lot of light in it and uh, we see that residual light reflection in the night sky of the cities so that is because of actually uh, this uh, kind of like uh, effects which happen in the like a uh, uh, bigger like a uh, settlement areas so this uh, actually effort of like a uh, uh, terrace garden okay so it is conceptualized and it is proven also with the help of like a uh, several like uh, executed like designs like uh, this uh, works in uh, reducing the overall actually uh, a metal footprint of these uh, like a construction based like a uh, materials and it reduces the overall actually uh, heat in that actually area and it minimizes actually energy consumption also in the building so this is one of the strategies which works uh, very efficiently to reduce actually the heat impact so here uh, in this one uh, we will talk about uh, like how to uh, actually improve on the like a uh, social interaction part okay 
so system uh, social sustainability is one of the major aspects of like uh, the sustainability so how this sustainability can be uh, can be actually integrated with the architectural system with the built environments with the built like uh, spaces so with the help of like a uh, uh, intentional designs which improve actually or which uh, promote actually social interactions okay this can be achieved so you can see some uh, sketches over here in the lower uh, right side okay so the, uh, the this green actually sketched area okay it's uh, actually pedestrian movement pedestrian path given uh, within a society so <clears throat> one uh, like the inhabitants of this actually society will be taking these paths and they will be moving around these buildings okay in a way like uh, integrating uh, uh, them and, and bringing them closer to the like other people of the society okay so this is one of the like a uh, uh, direct methods of actually promoting uh, like a social interaction in any given society the next one you can see like a uh, uh, having like a community buildings so the buildings which are dedicated for the like a community uses such as like a convention hall such as like a uh, libraries reading rooms you know such as like a common playing area such as common like a recreational areas you know such as like a common like a, uh, areas where one can actually uh, sit together and discuss they can discuss about like the administration of that society they can discuss about the interaction and the, they can discuss to they can meet to uh, celebrate like a, a social functions and events and the festivals okay together so these buildings also in turn actually promote so these uh, there should be a provision to have actually such community spaces community buildings in and around the uh, societies the third one talks about the parking area so the parking areas also actually provide uh, an opportunity for like a social interaction so the, the parking in groups also is uh, taken as a like a, a improvement for the like a social interaction area but though they are kept at the outer like a periphery of the uh, society in order to actually uh, keep the vehicles away from the actually uh, inner areas where kids where elderly where all of the inhabitants can freely actually enjoy and walk so that is the re this is the reason actually these uh, parkings are kept on the side on the periphery of the actually society okay so that uh, one does not have any tension like uh, for example if a kid is playing in this like a greener area so the mother is not bothered that there may be a vehicle which can actually create some disturbance for my child so such kind of actually attention free actually spaces are very necessary so how design can help over here by actually using like a elevated spaces by using a, uh, like a, a maybe a restricted areas so that there is no actually access available for the movement uh, for the cars to come inside or the vehicles to come inside so this can be actually forced or an intentional actually strategy adopted to improve actually the social interaction in any given society and then the last one it talks about like the creating like the unit layout so if we create like a such layout so these layouts can be actually replicated and can be actually uh, uh, can be implemented at several places to emulate actually this concept so uh, the, these are actually uh, uh, softer strategies adopted for actually improving social interaction in the given society in this slide you can see like uh, this is a, a satellite map of a city of chandigarh in india so this chandigarh actually is very known for like its uh, uh, grid layout okay of the different sectors and uh, uh, orthogonal planning and uh, vehicular movement and uh, even with all of these like a massive scale like a uh, buildings which uh, uh, lee corbusier actually designed uh, in the 1950s and 60s at that time so uh, uh, he actually incorporated like a greener like a you know strips which were actually crisscrossing uh, different sectors so these actually uh, greener actually uh, areas they uh, they actually uh, uh, start from like one end of the the one sector and they 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 move from uh, the sectors within and they crisscross actually entire uh, the breadth of the actually uh, chandigarh actually city so it was uh, like being visualized over here like this uh, you can see is one of the major like arterial road so this was actually proposed to have uh, actually uh, this is a main actually culvert to cross actually chandigarh from like a one side of the chandigarh to the other side so it was designed actually it was conceptualized from like a, this uh, chandigarh urban lab actually so they actually proposed to have a, uh, a breathing actually a green corridor where not just the vehicle will pass the uh, even the pedestrian movement even the cyclist movement and even there, even there will be uh, like a huge presence of like a, a greener elements such as trees bushes and plants 
to minimize actually the uh, the effects or the side effects caused by uh, the uh, actually traffic the fast moving traffic so this is an integration of actually the uh, breathing spaces with the like highly functional like uh, requirements so by actually strategizing like uh, in such a way uh, even like uh, entities such as like a uh, highways and these like uh, connecting roads can be also uh, uh, designed in such a way that they have actually lesser uh, emissions and lesser impact on the surrounding areas and the residential areas which are right uh, uh, present in the uh, in the next actually sectors so by providing actually uh, uh, dense like vegetation and uh, trees and bushes one can minimize on the uh, noise pollution one can minimize on the like uh, air uh, the air pollution so these things can be taken care of and here uh, uh, some more details are given over there the how is the visualization of this uh, actually road was actually taken care of so the road was actually given uh, the space in the like a uh, lower side of the road so the under the ground and then uh, the pedestrian and other recreational areas and the greener areas were planted on the ground surface in this actually illustration how uh, we can see like uh, how different types of actually uh, the massing and the arrangement of the activities in any given like a structure and building can be designed in such a way to promote actually a social harmony and interaction so the first one you can see this one uh, is uh, like a format of like a panorama so this one gives uh, a, a huge like a volume of like a exposure to the outside so for example if there is a greener area or the forest area or some like institutional space or some recreational space or even a market space so the uh, neighboring buildings can adopt actually such panoramatic uh, actually views to have a uh, to maximize the uh, the uh, view outside <coughs> so viewing uh, is one of the uh, actually traits of like a human comfort so how this can actually take advantage of this the uh, panorama strategy so this is a uh, quite evident from this uh, sketch over here the second one talks about uh, uh, patio and uh, paint house uh, actually creations so such uh, uh, actually building uh, typologies they adopt uh, quite a wide actually open spaces they involve actually uh, greener space also they include actually some uh, like a uh, vegetation also creating a like a nice ambience and creating a like a night a nice atmosphere within the premises of that building so this is also one of the very good strategies for like a uh, having a uh, like a ecological actually you know a building which corresponds to the surrounding a building which corresponds to the ecology the third one talks about uh, leaving like a 70 percent of the space empty for like a greener and open areas well this is a strategy uh, strategy which uh, gives a lot of emphasis for like a, uh, creating like a open spaces creating like a empty spaces you know leaving spaces empty and reserved for like a, a grass and a trees and bushes and plants so that there is ample space left for actually receiving sun receiving rain you know receiving actually the natural elements in like a plenty so this is one of the uh, strategies which supports like a lot of exposure a lot of direct integration of nature to the site the next one talks about uh, uh, having like a uh, terraces so on terraces like uh, in between terraces also like a uh, uh, multiple like uh, interactive terraces so terraces are also one of the like uh, refuse areas which uh, promote uh, uh, interaction and uh, fluidity in any given space so we can use uh, these uh, terraces also for having like uh, some uh, small like uh, activities like cafes sitting areas you know reading areas and such activities planned in this one uh, in turn by helping actually the society to have like a you know enhanced interaction uh, the next one talks about live and work so this is actually a mixed use building we discussed earlier so the, how the same building can have actually the variety of uh, uh, uses is because uh, generally we live at one place and work at some other place so this in turn actually uh, uh, induces the demand for like traffic because i need to go from the place of living to the place of working so why not to have uh, why not to promote actually such a practice where these two activities can be kept as close as possible maybe even in the same building if not that far and if uh, even if, the, if it is like a, at a distance why can't be uh, this be at a, in a distance of like a periphery of like a, maybe a cyclist movement or maybe a pedestrians movement so such live and work actually in the vicinity will actually reduce uh, you know direct emissions from the like a traffic and it will actually uh, give like a ample time for the actually the person to have uh, like a, it with their family or at the uh, in the office 
uh, why uh, instead of like wasting that in the traffic the last one actually talks about uh, like a interconnected like a yin and yang, yin yang actually housing techniques so in this one actually uh, activities are actually interconnected the housing units are interconnected and they are kind of overflowing uh, between from one to another so this actually links the structure in a way in a more deeper way and this actually uh, forcefully actually encourages the interaction uh, in the society so this uh, with this we saw actually some of the strategies uh, with which uh, one can actually induce interaction in the society let's see some of the more uh, typologies over here on a like a major scale at the scale of a neighborhood like how this uh, this kind of like a social interactions can be uh, enhanced can be actually generated can be created can be given in any actually uh, city sectors or city areas so the first one you can see in the high rise buildings so in the high rise buildings uh, a number of like a floors can be reserved for like a common interaction like a refuse areas for like a, those are refuse areas for like a safety and uh, such purposes but these uh, like a, there could be like a several like a, there could be some uh, dedicated spaces and uh, floors reserved for like a social interaction and common interaction by in turn promoting uh, like a social interaction <clears throat> the next one talks about a perimeter block housing so in this one uh, the movement is restricted on the perimeter okay so that the vehicles uh, cannot come inside the actually living uh, like uh, areas uh, in turn by promoting like a green, greener actually spaces in the heart of the actually neighborhood the second uh, the next one talks about the courtyard uh, housing planning so the courtyards uh, are uh, like a very integral to the vernacular architecture of most parts of the like indian states indian like a region so this kind of actually planning also helps uh, in uh, uh, in uh, in receiving actually natural elements in like a plenty uh, as well as creating a, 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 a an atmosphere of like a homely activity in the uh, in on the site itself okay so this kind of actually typology can be utilized for like a creating uh, housings in the like recent times the next one talks about like a cluster housing so the group of for like a houses can be kept together okay and these services can be combined in one place for example like parking and other amenities so in turn actually leaving a plenty of space which can be a common actually uh, area for them for their leisure activities such as like a playing sitting you know and these kind of uh, like activities so the ch children also can get like open spaces elderly can get like a, you know wider spaces for like a walking and movement and playing etc then comes the, like a row housing so of course this is also one of the more uh, most successful like a uh, schemes most uh, successful like a uh, strategies followed across the world to have like a, a number of like a row housings so in this also like a number of like a activities number of amenities and facilities are shared among the like inhabitants and uh, uh, the the maximum like a uh, uh, open areas can be combined and utilized for like a common activities some examples we can see from uh, like a different uh, like a vernacular like architectural practices from like a different regions of india as you can see on the left side this picture is from uh, uh, ahmedabad okay this is from the like a residential areas where uh, uh, the houses actually they project a little bit on the in the like a in the like a uh, walking aisle side in the walking like a, a gully side and they become actually sunset for the like a uh, people to sit on the lower levels because uh, ahmedabad is fa falls under like a very hot uh, actually regions so some months are uh, relatively very hot so at that times these actually architectural features they become a uh, very useful for actually creating like a, uh, a habitable actually uh, spaces on the lower floors uh, in the second picture you can see the same kind of uh, actually type, uh, technique is used uh, in this uh, building okay so this kind of uh, actually philosophies can be even transformed into like a new construction like a practices and uh, things which are happening at different places so here we have actually one thought by uh, architect like yatin pandya so he talks about like sustainability is a phenomena it is a, a concept that stems from and, and culminates in the way of life it is about contextual adjustment for the maximum gain with the least disturbance or imbalance so again we we are seeing those uh, the same like a uh, keywords which are very much inherited which are very much integrated with this concept of sustainability like a uh, contextual requirements so the design should fit into the given context okay and it creates actually the least disturbance or the least imbalance to the overall like uh, the the ecological actually that footprint over here so uh, these are the actually uh, thoughts given by like a uh, very famous like architect uh, yatin pandya 
and uh, many of his uh, like uh, designs they actually follow like uh, such practices and very earthen actually uh, designs so few examples we will see uh, here on the left side you can see in this picture this is uh, like a, a jali uh, or the stone jali or the fenestrations actually they are created so of course they are uh, a beautiful piece of like uh, aesthetic and art at the same time they work as a uh, like a sunscreen they work as a uh, like a you know uh, filtering the sunlight for the like a, uh, in the like a desired like a uh, uh, quantum so the inside like a uh, inner spaces they receive sunlight but in a restricted manner and in turn they create actually a, a buffer area also from outside to the inside and the same kind of a philosophy is used even in the uh, recent times in the modern buildings as you can see on the right side so such fins they work as a, like a, you know creating buffer so the uh, interior habitable spaces are not actually situated not placed right at the surface of the building though they are kept at a distance and that distance actually becomes uh, that buffer zone by using like a, uh, using it as a corridor some more examples are here in this uh, actually slide so you can see some of these uh, designs uh, uh, very famous uh, from like a different cities of india okay so they take care of actually the vernacular uh, uh, actually uh, features of those regions for example the uh, the central top uh, picture you can see this is from like a jawahar kala bhavan in jaipur so the architect of this uh, uh, the late uh, charles korea he took uh, inspiration from the bowlies of rajasthan the water bodies of rajasthan which are man made for like a several centuries okay in stone and they actually used to store uh, the ground water for the like a summer months okay so this is stepped actually fashion uh, he has used for uh, creating uh, like an interactive actually space in that actually premise and some other uh, like a uh, buildings you can see they are utilizing like a natural uh, local materials okay such as like stone okay which is criss crossed by like uh, the grass and other like a uh, vegetation okay there are like a pergolas used to create like buffer spaces from the outside to the uh, inside so that uh, uh, there is a like a you know, buffer zone between the interior and the exterior okay creating a, like a comfortable situation uh, a comfortable actually uh, temperate actually condition in the interiors okay and there are several other actually adoptions also in terms of like a creating like a, a sunscreen okay by using like a uh, materials such as like a uh, concrete such as like even like stone such as like a uh, steel even like a uh, clothing you know so such are the actually innovative actually adaptation in the recent times which have happened in india so one uh, beautiful uh, actually uh, project which i would like to mention over here so this is actually project by uh, uh, architect like uh, christopher charles beninger okay so this is an actually office building which follows actually traditional uh, architectural systems using the modern technology so this is it's a beautiful actually amalgamation of vernacular as well as modernity so in this one uh, these uh, office buildings are created over here by utilizing actually the uh, the uh, sub subsurface and uh, uh, below the ground surface also so he has actually you can see in this uh, illustration he has actually utilized uh, uh, some uh, uh, vernacular uh, and cultural features also such as the, this uh, deep stump and he has utilized like a uh, water bodies to create like a uh, uh, well this actually building uh, is pre, uh, is uh, located in uh, pune in the uh, in the city of pune so this water body actually uh, creates this uh, microclimate uh, this, this this gives actually with the help of the evaporation uh, water content in the air in turn cooling that air so sometimes uh, like uh, the people can sit outside in the grass they come out in the evenings and they can enjoy the view so this is the actually philosophy uh, actually applied in this particular actually project okay so some details uh, of uh, this uh, uh, structure we can see over here so this is like a sujal on one earth uh, building uh, situated in uh, like a pune and this is one of the griha five star rated actually projects which is uh, one of the uh, role models of the uh, like a corporate actually uh, so some features like in the sustainable like site planning he has uh, actually used uh, dust screens to provide uh, uh, you know uh, prevent the dust to spread to the outside like uh, in, the, in the vicinity so while construction only they utilize several actually uh, means and methods to prevent on the disturbance in the vicinity in the locality they actually took care of the soil erosion they utilized actually the utility corridors 
to uh, actually take up uh, like uh, heavy vehicles and uh, uh, and the utensils and equipment etc in uh, in order to minimize the you know impact to the local like a uh, people the next point talks about the reduction in water consumption okay in comparison to the like a uh, griha benchmark they have actually achieved like a 65 percent reduction in the building water consumption by using uh, a low flow fixtures fixtures and uh, 55 percent water recycled and uh, uh, and reused within the complex Okay, they have actually achieved a 50% reduction in landscape water consumption by planting na native like a vegetation species of trees and shrubs and uh, they have utilized the efficient irrigation system also to minimize the water consumption. So, it is highly recommended because uh, uh, some parts of the like uh, India and miserly into like a uh, Maharashtra and Rajasthan and uh, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh and even like a uh, Tamil Nadu. So, these uh, states are falling into like a uh, scarcity of water in the recent times. <coughs> Next uh, strategy you can see they have uh, utilized the designers have uh, utilized the passive architectural designs and uh, strategic systems. So by orienting the facades of the buildings uh, uh, to the like a north, south and northeast and southeast they have actually minimized the heat load on the building and 100% shading by external lures on the first and second floor. So they have utilized actually these lures which are actually traditional uh, uh, features in our vernacular architecture which we just saw in the previous slide of the like a Gujarat. Uh, they uh, utilized partly self shedding actually blocks okay so that the uh, the one block can shed uh, can become a shed to the next one and that is why minimizing actually heat load. The next feature what they utilize is the small terraces created in all blocks to promote interaction and external environment. So that is where actually this uh, social interaction and overall like a social uh, sense of like a sustainability comes into picture. So involving and, in, and promoting actually the social interaction uh, uh, among the inhabitants. The next strategy what they utilize is the reduction in the energy consumption. So compared with the Griha benchmark, okay, they have actually achieved like a uh, uh, like a, quite a much like a efficiency in terms of like a, uh, equipment in the lighting and running the like a their like a other like a sensor kind of requirement. So these uh, actually uh, equipments they have been like a taken care of and they have taken care of like a adequate daylighting to provide like a and control the like a glare so that there there is no like a uh, excess of like a sunlight in the inner areas and they have actually actually uh, achieved a, a thermal comfort also by uh, pre cooling the fresh air. They have used like a heat recovery system uh, and a heat exchanger systems to minimize the heat losses, to minimize the energy losses. They have used like high efficiency mechanical systems to actually reduce the energy consumption. And, and the renewable energy like a technology, they have installed like a, a solar generation actually plant of 13.44 kilowatt on site itself and uh, they are meeting their actually uh, energy requirements. They have even in, installed like a 18 windmills of 4.75 actually kilowatt each. So they are actually generating a, a 2 lakh 50 thousand units of electricity annually. Further they have used a strategy of like a low energy and green materials. So 37 percent reduction in quality uh, in the quantity of structural concrete by using post tension slabs they have utilized and 50 percent of reduction they have achieved in uh, quantity of structural steel by using post tension slabs and uh, they have used like a uh, uh, Ciporex fly ash blocks for better insulation. So these uh, AAC blocks are uh, coming aerated uh, concrete actually cement. So these uh, uh, these blocks uh, are actually uh, in the uh, trend these days. They uh, they work as a highly insulating actually uh, construction material uh, compared to the traditional actually uh, burnt bricks. So on the energy saving part, if you see, they have uh, become kind of self-sufficient. So they are. Uh, and uh, they have actually reduced uh, uh, water consumption, they have reduced actually waste generation, they have reduced actually noise level. So in, uh, in an overall sense, it is one of the uh, most successful actually designs you can see in this picture, which promotes like a social integration, which promotes actually environmental protection, which promotes actually overall like a ambience of this place, which preserves the culture also. So it, uh, it is one of the actually wholesome designs which I thought of like bringing to you. Thank you everyone.